we'll see with the next one is most likely a transfer special um first games of the season kind of thing in the Serie B unless we get poached from elsewhere you never know you never know what's gonna happen but I thought I'd just come back for this I think in the next couple of clicks we should have the end of season special highlight thing in my bob so we'll go through that quickly and let's get it going let's see let's just let's have a look but look look just and i get some achievements as well beautiful beautiful so says the football club 21 to 22 review where should we start from can i not mm. okay we'll leave we'll leave these top three just because they came in january and we'll go we'll go from the uh the summer signings balakwisha He's been, he's an unsung hero of the team. He's done absolutely amazing. He's filled in when we've needed him to fill in. You know, he's he took the starting spot away from Simon. Um, yeah, there's nothing more of what they're gonna can say. He's just been unsung and absolutely amazing. Um, Guth, we had some rotation at centre back. I didn't know who I wanted there to start with. We were. We were all over the place. We were genuinely all over the place with it. But he took the starting role over Ganelli, over Konate. Konate, to be fair, he got injured uh, towards the start of the season. He was playing really well and just subsequently ended up getting dropped because <laughs> of Goose really good form. And he's 21, so I'd rather be playing him just a little bit more for the future. But for 50 grand, he's been absolutely class. I don't know if he's got that much better it's the only thing that humble, that kind of throws me off him is his pace his acceleration his pace everything else he was he was a really really good defender for that level but that was the only other thing and that annoys me when you click out of it and you can't it doesn't take you back to the same page <clears throat> spots interactive um but yeah Guth took the starting center back role with uh who is it Coccolo yeah and made it his Barlocko again. He had filled the void left by whoever we had. It was probably someone rubbish. I think it was someone rubbish. And he's done. He's done what's asked of him. Over a seven rating. He had, I don't think he's put a foot wrong all season. He has not put a foot wrong all season. So nothing but praise for every single one of these. Honestly, I think that the window that I did, it was probably one of the best ones considering. Again, with Carcella, the players, you know, they're nothing. You're not looking, I'm like, oh my god, he's fantastic. But everyone's played their own kind of little part. And they've all done what I've asked of them, pretty much. Again, same with Carcella. He was the starting starting man. He got a little bit injured. And then I think he got his uh, suspension as well. And then other players came in and did the job a little bit better if i'd have known <laughs> we'd have run away with the league earlier on and not had to go through the whole well you've just seen the whole thing they were going to have him through the playoffs and all that other fun stuff like i mentioned kanate he was starting he got injured unfortunately here's what it is here's what it is is you know he's got some decent enough pretty much they're all like the same pretty much player but it, it matters who performs better and Guth took it took it into his own hands and made the role his so I really need to stop clicking out of it <laughs> Jabana he was our starting striker and he just fell off he completely fell off a cliff and that kind of one dimensionalness showed in the end so that's why we had, kind of had to end up bringing in the the players that we brought in which I'll which I'll go into uh, sooner the rest of these boys they were kind of i didn't expect really any of them to be first team material even blumquist <laughs> that was a bit of a fail but uh these top these top three here maldini he's just been unbelievable unbelievable playing in that attacking playmaker role advanced playmaker role sorry and filled in that shadow strike when we needed him well, I'm going to try and get him in on loan. Again, the free players that I've had on loan, in fact, I probably won't be able to buy him because they're just way out of my league. But him, Maldini, who else was it? It was Ajapong. Again, I lo as much as I love Grujevic, it's, it's really no competition at all with them two. He's just blowing him out of the water. Nine assists in 22 games, 7.22 rating. He walked the Serie C and... 
the striker that I was looking for all season, <laughs> Lorenzo Colombo. He's he's just what I wanted. I thought what I thought the strikers Gori and Jabana and whoever else, Rauti. They were just they weren't that. And then as soon as Colombo came in, it was that. It was he hit the ground running. See there. 16 goals, one assist in 23 games. He was flipping unbelievable. He was just... The three players that brought in there in January, they were just a missing piece of the jigsaw and they hit the ground running. They slotted in absolutely beautifully. I've, if I mean, like I said, if I'd have known they were available, I'd have gone, done the loan system earlier. And I remember looking at Pisa with their Skamaka and uh, Esposito thinking, yeah, you've, you've cheesed this a little bit getting them, but we'd have walked, we'd have 100% walked the league if we'd have had just these three players from the start of the season. But here's what it is. Here's what it is. We're still up. Um, not complaining at all. The superb season, of course it was beautiful. Happy that we've won the Serie C playoff, of course they are. Catrano, Mr. Cessna. Competition results. There's our final last five games with the pivotal 2-1 against Palermo. You've just seen moments to remember. The 7-1 against San Remetze in the Serie C slash B. Match to remember. The 4 0 gubbin of Sudtirol. And goal of the season. Balikwisha. Probably an absolutely cracking shot. We've seen some corkers from him this season. Our revenue all up from last season. So you want to see beautiful stuff. How I lined up with the narrow four two three one, and that is what that is what we settled on, and that's it's worked wonders. It's worked absolute wonders. This four two three one. Um, fans player of the season, Mister Mister Cessna. Young player of the season, Maldini. Signing of the season, Barloco. Fair. Um. I was still probably giving it to Balikwisha as permanent signing, but goal of the season is Balikwisha. Top goal scorer, Mr. Cessna. Most assists, Maldini with 12. Most player of the matches, Catrano. And highest average rating, Mr. Cessna. As you can see, recurring theme like it was last year, Mr. Cessna. History in the making. Came along. Beautiful. So. That was the team. Season review. Finished second. Got promoted from it. It's beautiful. Beautiful. I'm still... I've slept. I've slept in Sen. I've still got that high. <laughs> I've still got the high from being Palermo. It's been absolutely cracking stuff. See there, we'll cry it. An impenetrable and then aggressive and clinical. It's what you need. It's all you need. Um, club vision, the club wants me to develop the club's youth system, make the most set pieces, defensively solid football, counter-attacking football. We do all that pretty much anyway. But they want us to fight briefly against relegation in the Serie B. I don't mind that. I agree with that. Um, uh, as uh, like, I don't know how hard the Serie B is going to be, like I've said, but we'll see. Hopefully, we can put up a good fight, um, probably dip into the loan system a little bit more than we did this year. Unless we can find some, you know, really sort of players that we can get. We haven't got that big of a budget. But we'll kind of cross that bridge when we come to it. Accept it. Happy. Cool. Team leaders, Caterano Ardizzone. Beautiful stuff. End of season meeting. Um, 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 what should we say to the boys? Oh, I've ruined that, Anna. <laughs> Alright. Fixed it a little bit. Have I fixed it? Yeah. So they came in and they're probably just a little bit more demotivated. I don't care. <laughs> We've just been promoted, but yeah. Absolutely cracking season. Absolutely wonderful season. But there's the 2-1. We 100% we deserved the victory against Palermo. We were such the better team and the hard work paid off in the end with the two quick fire goals against them. Whatever that is, Esposito, he ended up with 34 goals. I thought Caterano absolutely bossed it with 25. There was such a disparity in goal scorers in the league. Esposito just ran away with it. Ten, nine goals more than, you know, Caterano. And then we ended up with nine more goals than the third one, which is ridiculous. 
Esposito, top goal scorer, and the... Oh, would you look at that? Manager of the year. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> that was a nice little surprise. But yeah. And we Balocco and Arditzone were named in... I'm surprised Caterano was not there, to be perfectly honest. But what did this Morano do? How many goals did you get? 18. Meh. Um, but yeah, happy, 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 happy. Could not be happier. That's been absolutely brilliant. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed that. And I will see you next time for whatever I bring you. Most likely the Serie B, but you never know. In a bit. <laughs>